Last week in the Sydney Morning Herald, Roy Masters wrote, and this is word for word, quote, Peter Volandis has achieved solidarity with chairman of Sydney NRL clubs by funding them gener generously, mostly at the expense of junior development. Close quote. Hmm. Now, that was just part of a, a column about something else. But I saw that and my eyes lit up in the wrong way. Also last week, in the News Corporation media, so in the Daily Telegraph and the Courier Mail and whatnot, Noel Crusher Cleal, the legend, um, the old pig shooter from Mount Bush, is it, worry older? Every year he seems to come into the media and say, the bush is dying, the bush is dying, the bush is dying. It seems to be his annual thing. He must have a reminder on his phone. This year he backed it up with some statistics that talked about how many players used to come out of the bush versus now and the alarming drop. And over the years he's done a plea to Peter Volandes and basically the headlines are that the bush is failing or rugby league is failing the bush. Having mentioned this before um, it has brought out comments on social media there's one this week from a gentleman called Rob Crawford and I hope you don't mind read me reading it out Rob he said group two is a shambles no is it Bellingham or Bellingham there's no Bellingham Bellingham who I don't know how to pronounce that arguably the most successful club ever and from his comments I'm assuming that they folded Rob went and watched Wul Wulgula Wulgulga <laughs> these names are too complicated for a probably like me player Rara who Sammy Burgess coaches to see who got the minor premiership he said there was no under 18s game before it Coffs Harbour reserve grade pulled out the evening before so I assume there was no reserve grade before it On only first grade played and the ladies tag side all afternoon so whereas I guess reading between the lines of Rob's comment there he was expecting probably a day of football. 18s, third grade, reserve grade, opens, or first grade. I'm going to go out, not on a limb here, I'm, I'm really confident in saying this. Development and the bush are getting neglected in Australia. Of course, as people will be watching this in different parts of the world, please tell me in the comments what's, go what's going on. But I'm not going to look at the comments for a while, so if, I if you don't hear from me, don't worry, I'll, I'll look at them in the next five minutes. I really want everybody who's watching and listening now to listen carefully to what I say and then please write your comments. I think development is linked to support. So every rugby league person I know, bar one or two, and I must know thousands, and I've known thousands over the years, likes to watch the game too. So to me, development and support of the game are inextricably linked. You can't, they're not necessarily binary things. For an indication of where our game is at, I'm going to read out some crowd figures to you. AFL is coming for our game in a big way. Anybody who laughs that off, ignores it, thinks that rugby league is so strong it will never die or it probably will never die but it'll certainly be on something like a life support machine soon if we're not careful anybody who ignores this does so at their peril the current average for AFL crowds this year and bear in mind I said that development and support are leaked if you play the game you tend to support the game as well don't you and yes I know you can come back with TV figures but to me TV is an easier option, you know, just flicking over a channel or streaming something. Going to a game is a big indication of your support. The current average in the AFL this year is 30,721. The current average in the NRL this year is 14,834, so less than half. You're probably thinking, oh, that's just one anomaly. Okay. 2021, AFL. A COVID year, right? Average crowd in the home and away rounds, 23,660. Finals, 30,305. 2021, in the NRL, the average was 10,364 in the week-to-week -week rounds. That's less than 
in the COVID year of the AFL. And let's not forget, folks, in 2021, Melbourne was more ravaged than any city in Australia with COVID. I've not taken the finals statistics for the NRL from 2021 in the interest of fairness because a lot of the games were played up in Queensland and also the grand final was switched. So if you put the NRL grand final in Sydney, you're going to get, what, 30,000 more people? Something like that. <clears throat> I can hear what you're thinking. COVID was an anomaly year. Okay, 2019, before all this COVID thing happened. Week to week in the AFL. Average, 35,122 people. Average in the NRL, 15,030. That's less. 20,000 less. But more than 20,000, I think. In the NRL, less on average in 2019. Finals, not even in the same ballpark. AFL, 62,607. Rugby League, 32,243, less than half. Our game is under siege, folks. Rob Crawford mentioned the lack of games when he was at a Group 2 game this week and the lack of events when he turned up to a game. Mate, it's not just happening in the bush, it's happening in the city too. In the big cities, Brisbane and Sydney, the amount of games that are forfeited is seemingly going through the roof. And the amount of teams at junior level and senior level that go on the field with less than 13, getting alarming. Let's not forget, Brisbane and, and Sydney are our two biggest cities for rugby league probably in the world. One of the big problems I see is that we host NRL games on the same day as a lot of juniors play. If you're a Broncos fan in Brisbane and you play in an area such as Ipswich, you play all your junior games on a Friday night. What night do the Broncos play most of their games? And what night do most juniors train? Tuesday and Thursday, which is when the Broncos play some of their games too. And this happens all over our rugby league world. When I first arrived in Australia, I held a series of clinics on the northern beaches of Sydney for the NRL development. And I turned up to a school in the northern beaches of Sydney and held an NRL clinic. I had about 30 kids. Over in the corner from me was the AFL guys from Sydney Swans. There were five of them. There was one of me. They had all the kit. I had some clothes that happened to wear for training the night before because I was also coaching at Manly. They had brand new balls and tickets for Swans games. I had some old Steedens in a tarpaulin bag. You know one of those tarpaulin bags that, that's checked that looks like a tablecloth? They turned up in a branded car. I turned up in an old rust bucket that I'd bought for $1,000. I had 30 kids. They had five. I don't want to go back to that school and try the same thing. When I went back to the office to report my findings that day, I was basically told, don't worry, rugby league will be fine. This will never be an AFL area. Well, I've just given you some statistics. What do you think is happening 15 years on? And we can look into it deeper. Memberships, a form of steady income. You know, clubs want season tickets, memberships, because it's money in the bank for them, early doors. Simply... AFL blows rugby league out of the water. I won't furnish you with the statistics because it's scary. There was an academic called Hunter Fujak who wrote a book called Code Wars a couple of years ago. When an academic puts something together, they've got to prove it almost beyond reasonable doubt. That's the whole idea of being an academic. And let me tell you the tragedy of, of what's happening in the bush. Did you know the Metropolitan Sydney only provided 25% of New South Wales origin players between 1980 and 2015. 25%. Brisbane provided only 18% of Queensland players during that period. So the neglect of the bush is having a huge impact on everything. 
<coughs> basically, 96% of the population, according to Dr. Fujak, and again, proven academically, is restricted to progressing to the NRL because 58% of NRL players come from 4% of the population. So what that tells us is our recruitment managers aren't getting out to the bush or the pathways aren't there. If you're a kid in the bush and you're playing rugby league, your chances of getting picked up are getting harder and harder and harder. We've got a real problem, an absolute real problem.